I sometimes use this as a bookmark or to clamp something to a desk or table. But mostly I just use it for exercise now. My grip string's getting pretty weak, as you can tell. Well, this is a pretty stiff string. So little gizmos they, they sell for exercise in your hands. Those don't have all that much tension on it. This is pretty stiff, because it's got to clamp something to a table. There might be sewing on or something. But I usually use C-clamps for that. Well, I could use this, depending on where I am. It doesn't open quite wide enough to go over a, over a saw horse. Well, nowhere near wide enough to go over a saw horse. If you're selling something on the edge of a table, you can clamp like a piece of plywood down with it and keep it from sliding around. That's about all I'm good for. About 25 or 6 of uh, 20 of those I think I did. I wouldn't count and I have no idea how many I did. I couldn't do it anymore. They do that more often. I rest it a bit for another set. So I use a, a drill for drilling and screws most of the time. Can't hold on to a screwdriver for, for two hours like I used to. But this helps. Strength anyway is a little bit for endurance. You get a lot of spring for endurance, but really. I've only done this about. I uh, lost track of you, I'm sorry. Pretty good little clamp, though. Really good for book marking uh, paperback books if they're big enough. Not too thick. If they're too thick, you just clamp about 20 or 30 pages and the weight holds hold it down. And you can hold down the other page with your hand. This is just a phone book here. Most of my books up there, I've read them so many times that blue's uh, coming out of them. I don't want to clamp on it and them out worse than they are.
books are just me reading them. Some people in the family wrote my book. My dad wrote all of the books. I can't believe he wrote all of the books. He did. Yeah. See, my roommate read. He read almost all of the books. You know, probably, probably, he wrote about a hundred times a day. Older than me. Still see him every once And well, that's about I've got to say about plants. This is this is a plant by cell. It's pretty good. I've had this one for a long time. See it's kind of worn out on the edge. But I'd probably press that down if I had to you take the spring tension off. Put in a vise put in a vise like that and and push the rubber back up and rubber would cover the middle end again. Yeah, I've almost got it up there already. That's not like that. All you do is put it in a vice, vice and pull it pull back down. A pair of pliers. I don't know, you might be able to get some rubber tips to replace them or you can get some that dip it stuff and dip it in there and like the stuff I got putting my cane right here. You dip it in there and of course then you have to put it in a vise to keep it open because it won't dry, you don't want to dry it shut because then you won't open it up at all. That was pretty good as for a We don't make it as good as I used to. I used to have some really good stuff. And they, they called dip it. Put it on valve hand wheels and you could turn them all day long. No black marks rubbing off in your hands or anything. This is pretty good unless you're really sweating. If you're really sweating, then uh, it'll start to come off. This is a product that I sell and I actually have at home. I used it for years. Mostly I use it to keep a, a table together. Roll away table together. It used to be a TV stand and I made a table out of it. Just with a piece of plywood, stuck it on there. Some staples in it. Put the clamp over the edge of the, edge of the plywood. Pulled it onto one of the rails. It was a good bedside table for about, I used that for about 9 or 10 years. Yeah. Then I moved downstairs here and didn't use that table anymore. And I found the garage and I thought, hey, I've been using this thing for a long time. I could use this for some of the parts I've been cutting. I don't want to haul against steel. Some of I can't put on my put on saddle horses and clamp them down to a piece of plywood. And that's what I did. Is just clamp down a piece of plywood. I don't have any pictures of that because that was like about eight years ago I did that. I didn't take movies eight years ago. I didn't even know this movie camp this camera would do that at all eight years ago.
Here's my sword, you can see that on the side. But the uh, second one from the top, all the way from the from the right, that's the, uh, the spring clamps. And we have other clamps there. The two items, in the left corner, are the Craftsman. 12 inch and 24 inch bar clamps. I don't have any of those, I wish I did. But you can use those with one hand. And there's a lot of application that I could use those for. They're not quite as, you can't clamp them as tight as a, as a, as a C clamp, but they don't slide off when you turn them like they do on a C-clamp, which is an advantage. Okay, that's about it for the week. Petition see tomorrow I'll get a haircut and pay my bill for this thing. And when is the electrician going to come and power is going to be out for six hours? I'll replace my electrical panel, which I found out is lost its UL rating and is probably what's making my air conditioner trip off most of the time. I've got a capacitor effect on it. It gets me the trip. So that Breaker can trip a lot, and as far as Pacific panels, after they've been just tripping those, Federal Pacific panel breakers will make them less likely to trip or more likely to trip, depending on The trip themselves is what makes them more less luck, more luck, less likely to trip. If you trip them manually by yourself, you use them a lot. They'll might loosen, loosen them up, make them trip more often. There's several things that have done that. I've had one. I've had one breaker in that panel fail. A power vent on the top of the house. Last day of the year, Jimmy Edgar was up there. Roofing, roofing, roofing the house. And he yelled out at me, Hey, this power fan's just sitting up there humming. It's at 100 degrees up here. It should be going like a bat. Well, I went in there, looked at the breaker, and it hadn't. So it was seized up. I went in there, looked at the breaker, and it was sitting there like it. Nothing they ever having this, sitting on the. sitting closed. And I. Grab the glove, sit on the counter. Pulled it off because I didn't know if it was going to shock me or not. I know I didn't want the house to burn down. So. Did that. And we got an electrician over that day. And they came in and disconnected that power bit. So nobody would accidentally shut that, turn that thing on again. And I'll go poof right after I got it ripped. It was a while back. But people think these boxes are fine when they've been. Nothing's, gone, nothing's happened. And I've had the box for 20 years and I've never had any problems with it. Well, that probably means somebody did a good job wiring your house. You haven't overloaded your circuits enough to make it have to trip off. If that had happened, well, 
probably would come home from work one day and saw a pile of ashes up here. A couple of other, other panels that are dangerous too. That's the one I have. That's the one I'm not. I'm not bitch about that. Okay, that went someplace I wasn't going to go before. I think we talked about electrical panels last time, didn't we? Yes, last week I talked about electrical panels. No movies, but I talked about them. Wrote about them, took pictures of them. And when I get the new one in, I'll take a picture of that. Or hammer box, which is a pretty good box. And uh, Mr. Mr. Reed from uh, Bradley Reed Incorporated. I'll put that in. Give me a good price, and that's all he does is replace the boxes. Well, it's not all he does; he does a lot of other electrical stuff too. But that, that's a that's a lot of things. What he does nowadays is replace the boxes. He's had a lot of experience. In that. So we'll see how it goes, and we'll give them a really glowing recommendation. Then. Maybe not. He seems to know what he's doing. And I have checked it out on the internet, and everything that he says I've collaborated with on there. And all the electricians and air conditioning people around here, they know that Pro Pacific is my boss to stay away from. There's some insurance people that won't even. When you look at your house, they see a Federal Pacific box and they said, place that or no insurance. Or if they give you insurance, your rates are just going to be sky high out of, uh, out of the realm of the of possible pain. Might haven't found out about it yet. I'll probably tell them as soon as I get it replaced. Or Probably I'll tell them today. No, it's four o'clock now. Probably I'll tell them tomorrow. Well, we have time anyway tomorrow. Maybe I'll tell them tomorrow. I cut this bad box in there and I'm going to get it replaced. I'll probably get a refund. I'll probably get a much smaller insurance deal next time. Must let the lock be to burn down. I say, we built this house for like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. It's been listed as being worth $100,000 for 20, 30 years now. And as soon as I inherited it, it's worth, it's worth $200,000, I say. $210,000 to replace every stick in this house. And that was after I fixed a dozen things on it. It didn't need to be done right away. And they didn't know it needed to be done right away. If I hadn't told them about it, they wouldn't have saw it. But that's the insurance business. That's the business business. It wouldn't be any business. If I lost you my hand, I wouldn't have done anything but work. I think a product should be able to sell itself. You should be able to go into a store, see something like this, and and pick it up, and then know right away if it's worth anything or not. Now I'm talking to people out of using the internet to buy stuff. This is what I don't want to do. I don't want to buy this stuff over the internet because I want to make. I want to be able to pay bills. Or that's what I'm doing this whole thing. Could have done this as a humanitarian effort to help people how to how to do things with one hand and I've been doing some of that, but mainly just to make money. I'm gonna regret this film I think already.
Yeah, stop talking, John.